First off, I want to thank you for being a supporter. Titan Supporter Club member, you are helping this channel in so many ways. And I really do. I just thank you uh, so much for believing in us. And uh, thank you so much for uh, investing in us. I can't wait to sh do, do more together, basically. This is a video that is uh, exclusive to you all for a good, good while. And uh, I just wanted to uh, say thank you at the top. And hey, well, let's let's learn about some storms. Okay, so the first storm I'm going to show you today is uh, an awesome storm that I hopefully will have a video on uh, at some point on the channel. Okay, this is the June nineteenth uh, storm in New Mexico. This storm. It's completely stationary. I mean, it, it literally sat in one spot for like two or three hours. Uh, this mesa right here, uh, you see that running across there? That actually was a... Uh, I'll, I'll just put it this way. There was hail up to a foot deep, big flash flooding, all kinds of stuff happening there. So this stayed still for a while. So the first thing I want to point out here uh, on this one, I think you can see it. Uh, it seems pretty obvious wall cloud right there, right? That's the wall cloud. It's uh, very prominent. Uh, you can actually see even on this how this air was being sucked in this way and then pulled up that way. Uh, when you see this happening under an updraft base, especially in this region right here, uh, you can tell that this, this is interesting, but also, I mean, it's an interesting feature. This though, the ragged shape of it. See how it's like not very smooth, not very, it just doesn't look that, I don't even know organized, it looks kind of chaotic, right? That's a sign that it's not quite consolidating, not figuring itself out. And visually, uh, this area right here would be where you'd look. You typically want to look where that RFD is wrapping around, uh, kind of like that, uh, and then it'd come back around like this. So it actually kind of descends and then wraps around like this kind of thing. That's what the RFD does. And usually, usually, uh, you would look in here for the tornado. That's where you would typically look on that left edge of the wall cloud. Seems like that's more often than not where tornadoes like to form. So, but in this case, it just, there wasn't much motion there. So I wasn't really that concerned about a tornado at this point. Uh, you can tell though, a couple other things I can see here. Uh, see how this looks pretty cumulus in nature, pretty uh, pretty textured, that sort of thing, not very smooth. Tells me there's not a lot of capping. These uh, air parcels that are being adjusted uh, down here and being accelerated are going to just continue to be accelerated upwards uh, through there. So I feel pretty good about that. That looks good. A uh, good textured base, also a good sign that you are ingesting surface air parcels. Uh, and you can see over here, you can see rain foot, this is all rain and hail, but you can definitely see how it does look like the rain's coming out here and it's coming behind this wall cloud. That's the, that's the rear flank downdraft as well, but it wasn't really pushing beyond that. It just stayed back there behind this wall cloud. And because of that, uh, you never really saw this wrap up the way it could. Uh, it, you would get these uh, surges of the RFD that would come through and they would cut a, they would put a cut in, something like that. And, but it would be dry, and you never saw those rain bands kind of wrap. And I think that's why this thing failed to really produce a tornado, even though it looked really good. Uh, you know, you can look up here too. Is this updraft tower healthy? You don't even have to look at satellite. You can see pretty crisp, uh, nice staccato, means you got strong uh, updraft. Uh, you can see these low clouds here are threatening a good time, but they're uh, in terms of like be being able to view this, but that wasn't a problem. And again, this storm was just sitting here spinning for a good long while. You can actually see uh, back here, low clouds uh, condensing on the back side of that RFD. So this wasn't, uh, this wasn't a storm that honestly, it was very awesome to see in person, but I never really felt in my heart of hearts a tornado was likely. I was taking in the structure, it was awesome. Here's another storm, though, from uh, this year that I want to take a look at. This one, on the other hand, produced three tornadoes in rapid fire succession. But you're seeing a lot of the same stuff down here, uh, right? Still looks kind of ragged and such, but this, I think, looks a little better. 
a little bit more solid of a wall club. There's still a bit of a hole right through there and such, but it looks pretty good. You can actually see here uh, inflow coming in right here, inflow coming in right here. So you got inflow at two different levels. Uh, and you can also just see there's lots of little clouds uh, through here, but uh, you know, it still looks pretty cumulative nimbus cumuliform right through there not too smooth just yet so there's definitely those air parcels are being ingested and then they are being taken upwards and they are not having trouble uh stretching so visually you can tell this storm has tornado potential uh over here on the left side this is all actually uh roof length downdraft uh air condensing because you can see Back here, just a little bit, there's a little bit of uh, rain happening back up in here. That that area is just dotted in green. That's that that's rain uh, looking like, actually, in that region. So, I don't know why two's not working, but yeah, that's, that's cold RFD air. And uh, you can see, uh, because of that, you're getting this slant right here. Uh, see that slant out and away? Uh, and this one's slanting more toward the precept core outflow and this is inflow into it okay now let me do this i'm gonna see if i can zoom in a little bit on this oh i don't know maybe i can maybe i can't oh yeah i want to zoom in on this uh right through here so now we're zoomed into the low levels uh this is uh you know a little bit closer to what i could see in person uh actually so it, it, that helps so you saw this pretty steady stream of uh, cloud material coming in here and then lifting upwards. You'll oftentimes see some strong lifting motion on the left side of these wall clouds. And that's to me when I can tell, oh, this is time. Because when you're seeing that strong lifting motion, it means that air is not only being ingested and lifted, it's being lifted strongly. So you're getting that stretching. So if this RFD can uh, wrap around. Let me get a better color here. This RFD can do this, this, and then wrap around. You're going to see those air parcels coming in and then stretching. And that's, we know that's a key component of tornado formation. You need to concentrate that rotation in here somewhere. So what you're seeing, this is something that is not apparent at first glance because we have been focused in this video over here. It's pretty prominent, right? We've also talked about RFD over here. What I haven't talked about, this right here. And that's an important one because this is actually where you can see it. You can see it just barely. There's a little bit of a cut starting to happen. And if you watch this, there's rotation. You also see it's smooth. This actually is the start of a tornado. Very brief tornado, but this was the area to watch. There was clear separation here, clear separation over here. So this while this was inflow into the storm uh, and doing its thing, it was actually also right here doing that. So this actually turned into the tornado. It's why details matter. The big thing isn't always the thing. Oftentimes, and I see this a lot in storms, you'll see a big wall cloud alligator mouth type of feature, alligator mouth something like that, but the actual tornado will be almost somewhat displaced over here to the left. And that's just because you're getting a lot of con condensing uh, as this air is pulled inwards and upwards. And then you look over here and you can see a lot of rising motion and a lot of rotation because that RFD, so this is a little shelfy feature right up here, uh, that RFD is surging. Because what will happen oftentimes too uh, with these days is that you'll get this initial surge of RFD air like this, it moves it on out, but you'll get the secondary one. You get, almost get the secondary cut that helps really focus uh, the rotation uh, right in there. So that this became a tornado a little bit later, okay? So let's move on to our next storm. This one is, oh, there's my car right there. This one is uh, quite obviously a shelf, I think. Uh, I just want to point out how do you know this is a shelf. A couple of things that I think are worth noting here. First one is that you can kind of see that slope. There's a little bit of a slope. There's also 
anytime you see cloud structures like that, it means there's some outflow going on. <coughs> uh, because whenever you see outflow happening uh, like this, uh, you'll see just these structured clouds. You see these, all these low clouds condensing. And there's not a lot of rain uh, back here either, which tells you that this is actually a pretty weak storm complex. Uh, but this is a pretty impressive uh, shelf structure. And I want to point out that you can actually, a careful eye would see that this actually wraps around and comes back towards you. So you can actually see that this is like the apex of the arc. And there's actually an arc. And so that means the main push of uh, cool outflow air is coming this way. So if you're ever looking at a storm like this and you're wondering, because there's always going to be down here, lots of chaotic motion. Bottom of the shelf cloud is always chaotic. Uh, but you, you would want to look for something that's a lot, this is a lot larger than any wall cloud. There's a lot of clear air back here. And that's because there's cooler air rushing out away from this storm. So... That's, a, that's an easy one. Now, I want to take a look at this as well, because this actually, what's going on with this one? I like this one a lot because this actually is showing us uh, what a dying storm might look like. So the storm was dying. First off, you can see the downdraft here. You can see that downdraft. Obviously, this is the updraft where that warm, moist air is being lifted. This is actually like an old flanking line, but look how smooth it is. You can even see some smoothness right here. But there is, like, you can still see, like, it's still trying to draw in air like this. But I think there's a couple of things you want to look for. First off, oftentimes this area right here may go soft, especially when the cap's a problem. But it sometimes doesn't. This storm was very clearly on its way out, but that's still pretty crisp. What has happened, though, is this storm has gotten a lot smaller because this storm used to be this storm. And then just a couple hours later, it was this. And so when you see this, when you see a storm doing this right here, it's obviously a lot smaller. The tops are lower. Uh, it's got this old flanking line that's like not really doing anything anymore. There's nothing going on here under the base. Like there was nothing in that region right there. Absolutely nothing going on under that base. Uh, there was like slight lifting, but nothing really. So shrinking storm it's actually lower the, the top of the storm had gone way down as well so you add all these things together and it's just it looks very much like it's not it's small it's low lower in terms of tops uh it's higher the base is higher there's no hang me downs there's no wall cloud hanging down like the other one like that so this is a dying storm. Look for those storm sizes. When they're shrinking with time, that means it's weakening. It really is that simple sometimes. When they're growing, strengthening. And when they're just big, they're pretty strong. Um, and so, and also just that base. When it looks more smooth, when it looks, uh, when there's less going on down here, suddenly you even get this little bit of a slant. I'm a big fan of, if you see this uh, updraft slanting, it probably means the storm is definitely definitely on its way out. Here's another one. Here's another storm that was a supercell. Uh, you can tell, first off, very high base. This base, ridiculously high, stupid high. Uh, and so no tornado threat because there's nothing happening underneath this base. The, there's just, there's no hang-me-downs, no hang-me-downs back here. There's just a collection of updrafts. There's actually a storm here and a storm here. Up, uh, downdraft here, a little bit more down here. It's rained, actually. This is the strong part. This is what you would consider the severe area. And this is like uh, anvil overhang. You can't really, there's not really, uh, and you can see also back here, just want to point this out. Uh, that's another core. And that core is to this updraft right here. So you can tell that the winds upper level winds are shaded out of the south and west because this up, this uh, downdraft is actually uh, pushed off away from the storm. Tower up here looks good. Anytime you see this kind of structure uh, where you get a little bit of roundedness, oh man, I thought I was doing freehand. When you're doing a little bit of roundedness like this and it looks round, typically means you got some kind of a supercell thing going on. It's a little bit of rotation. Doesn't mean a supercell just yet, but it could mean that. It could be a supercell, uh, especially with time. This storm actually died not long after this because it's pretty small. This is a pretty small storm, but it was a small supercell for a bit. 
uh, and it had some pretty strong hail here. It was actually severe warned uh, down this road, uh, but it was small and it was uh, getting smaller with time. Uh, so again, the trend is your friend. But collection of updrafts here, I was really intrigued by this. And then you just, no wall cloud though. There was nothing hanging down there. So this one was a little bit, this is not as interesting of a case study as this one. Not as much to talk about, but still very important. Like, is this the storm of the day? Probably not. Not big enough. It's not growing. Now, if this storm and this storm merged, which does happen, especially on the plains, uh, this would be a lot more interesting uh, really quickly, but that did not happen. What did happen, though, is that you can see back here, there's towers way back there, line of tower uh, bases. Those became pretty robust supercells that looked really cool. So you can see all this visually. It's pretty cool. So with that said, I hope, I hope this was interesting. Uh, this is the first of a few of these I'll do on here to talk uh, storm structure. Leave a comment if you want to know something very specific about storm structure. I would love to talk about it. And hey, especially for Titan Supporters Club members, but for everybody. Weather is for everybody. And that definitely includes you. Photography's for you, weather's for you, and I am so happy that you're a part of this. With that said, well, we'll see you next time.